So you've just bought a home, you decide you're going to rebuild, and you found this in your living room. So you hire a contractor. They come in and you rebuild your chimney. But not all home reno projects go as planned, and most times the key is finding the right people to do the job. Stephen Dupuy is the president and CEO of the Building Industry and Land Development Association. He's live in our studio with some tips for your next project. Good to have you here. Good morning, Marcy. Uh, so I guess we should start at the very beginning. Square one, you've got a project to do in your house. Where do you go to find the right people? You need to find a professional contractor. Those uh, extreme photos we just saw were hopefully not the work of anybody I know, and I'm <laughs> sure they're not. Um, you need to find a professional renovator, and uh, you can do that at renomark.ca, which is a, a site that our, our organization runs. Homeowners need confidence. They need to know who they're dealing with. Uh, in situations like that, too, it's very easy for the homeowner to be trusting mm -hmm. uh, of the person they hired and basically say, how, uh, how trusting should they be? Should homeowners speak up if they sense something's not going right? Well, the first thing they should do is know who they're dealing with. So that means uh, dealing with a, a professional contractor, uh, checking those references, trying to see some of their previous work, and, and making sure they've established a good rapport, a good fit with the contractor. Don't grab the best price necessarily. Find the contractor that offers you the best solution, the one that you can work with on a day-to-day -day basis. And generally speaking, communicate at all times, especially if things seem to be going sideways or if you want to change something or something needs to be changed. That does come up in the renovation process all the time. All that being said, mm -hmm. what if you're stuck with someone that just isn't right? What do you do? Well... Avoidance, first of all, try not to let that happen. If, if it does happen, and heaven forbid it should happen, you know, cut and run really quickly. Cut your losses and, uh, and move on. Uh, we do have, con many of our contractors are going in behind a bad job. And, and, you know, unfortunately they can't make up for that lost money, but they can at least make it right. Uh, so if your reno is not going the right way, uh, it, it, are there other options instead of just cutting and running? It's not going the right way. You speak up, change things. What, what do you well, do? Well, hopefully you've got a contract with the, with the contractor, a written contract. That's a and good that's, point. that's one of the things we require our contractors to do is offer a detailed written scope of work. If there's no contract. There's nothing to litigate. There's nothing to, to wave in anybody's face. There's, just, there's no recourse. Contractor, is, if he's frustrated with you as the homeowner, he could just take off. What, are there signs, I'm wondering, Stephen, usually there are signs that if, you know, the contractor isn't the right person that you want, are there warning signs that people should look out for? Well, if the contractor is available to start tomorrow, that's probably the first warning mm. sign because the good guys are booked ahead. And that's not, I mean, if you're a homeowner and you want a renovation done, perhaps starting this fall, you need that time to get some designs done. There may be some permits and, and approvals that right. you need. So really, you're not going to pick up the phone today and have somebody there tomorrow. If, if you are, it's probably a bad sign. Okay. Uh, budgeting also a big deal, mm -hmm. a big part of this. Uh, some tips on that. And, and sure. usually, too, uh, they always say you should add time on well, to the project. If, it, if they say it's going to take a month, factor in for two or three months. Well, it's certainly generally going to cost more than you think. Renovation is expensive, especially if you're going to get it done right. Mm -hmm. uh, so be realistic about the budget. Uh, Timelines can vary because it's, it's partly art, uh, the whole art of renovation. So, you know, be very careful, be very specific in the contract. And in many ways, the homeowner determines the budget and the price by the specifications. If you want the highest end, you're going to pay for the highest end. Uh, make sure when you're doing a contract that you're not paying the high end price for the low end specifications. Contract, very, very important. It's, it's vital. Get it in writing. Thanks so much. Good to have you here. It's a pleasure. Good tips.